now to this week's community champion. College can be scary, especially as high school seniors think about it, but a local nonprofit is hoping to change that. They work to connect colleges and universities with local deserving high school students hoping to achieve their dreams, and this group makes the process feel a whole lot easier. Here's the story of Elevation Scholars. Elevation Scholars! It really is about what fits the student and what helps them accomplish their dreams. Like we don't have a stake other than helping them get into the best place. That's the best next step for them to be a world changer. And Amina Harris is the program director for Elevation Scholars, a nonprofit looking for world changers. Their goal is to find the hardest working students who make a positive impact in their community. These students are top tier in the classroom with an average unweighted GPA of 3.7 and often are the first in their families to go to college. When these students who have actually earned admissions and acceptance into your best colleges don't go and they don't go because they don't know they can go. Again, they're first in, in their families to go to college, so they don't quite understand their opportunities or how to navigate and get there. Go! <laughs> For the last decade, Elevation Scholars has made the process of applying and attending college possible for 115 students. The Elevation Scholar Award is a five-year commitment that provides test prep, college visits, the opportunity to work with admissions coaches, and a college success coach who mentors students all four years. Rebecca Borland is an Elevation Scholar and graduate of the University of Florida. My first time with you, like going to UF was with Elevation Scholars. I was like, this is home. Like this is Gator Nation. That is exactly where I wanted to be. As soon as I stepped on the, like the campus, it was so uh, um, warm, welcoming to me. Rebecca went to Evans High School, where she was a member of the National Honor Society, volleyball team, and French club. She always knew she wanted to be a nurse, and Elevation Scholars gave her an opportunity to explore the field. They will help us with like SAT and ACT prep. They would help us with our college applications, even our essays, they'll proofread it. Even if like we were unsure at the time, like what we're gonna major in in college, they would give us the foundation and the people to help us to see if we actually wanted to be in that major. Rebecca's hard work paid off. She's an RN at Winnie Palmer Hospital for Women and Babies and is living her dream. I don't know how I would apply to college. I don't know how I would have been able to either financially, emotionally, physically have attended UF throughout my four years. UF is very a vigorous college and this, um, to have like the ability to, you know, call Amina, to call Scott on days where, you know, I'm feeling down and anxious. They uplift me. They send me like care packages. The team at Elevation Scholars has already gone through dozens of applications looking for their next class of world changers. This year we had about 60 students apply. We just finished interviewing 40 of them. And whether we take 18 or 26 depends on how many community partners we have. Their hope is to provide as many scholarships as possible and continue to be a community champion. I'm overwhelmed. It's so exciting. It just it feels fulfilling. And after 10 years of doing this, it kind of feels like finally, like finally, more people would know, more people can join, more partners mm -hmm. um, can support us, more companies can get involved. Like the hope is that this helps us grow so that we can serve more and do it better. Well, it takes $25,000 to get one student through the five-year commitment. And joining us now to talk about Elevation Scholars is Amina Harris, the program director. Amina, so great to see you again. Good to see you again. You guys are just so inspiring at Elevation Scholars. Tell us, how did it all start? How did it come to be? Well, it started with our founder, Chris King. Um, after he started Elevation Financial Group, he always had a heart to have a nonprofit. And so he hired our president, Scott Lee, and the rest was literally, literally history. And so saw a news article about a student in the community who was giving back, did a, a food drive. It was Thanksgiving. Chris saw the article and said, this is the kid I want to invest in. This is, you know, how we change America through education. And so he had Scott go out to Oak Ridge High School. That's what he was at the time. And they put it together. And so it started with one kid. And that's it. And you guys have given 117 students this opportunity to get into college, apply easier. But it was really interesting because you said something last week when we did our interview, but world changers. Mm -hmm. That's what you call these scholars. So what is a world changer? A world changer, we believe, is someone who demonstrates our values. And those mm -hmm. values are leadership, service, kindness, and discipline. And that's what we saw in that student article that he saw, he saw back in 2013. The kid had his own 
hardships and challenges, and despite those, he was out putting on a community drive to get food for his peers. And so he wasn't just concerned about himself, he was concerned about the community. So when we invest in kids and our students locally, that's what we want. People Mm -hmm. are demonstrating impact, whether it's at home, at church, in their school, through a club, some type of service, because we believe that mindset, like when they carry that with them through the rest of their life, is the thing that will change the world. They will work in positions that continue to have impact. I mean, you have so many students that are applying now. I mean, dozens of kids. So how do you pick those, those few that get the scholarship? The hardest process ever. Mm-hmm. It's rigorous. It's about a six month selection. We work with six partner schools here in Orlando. They submit about a 15 page application. We then interview two or three rounds and we select from there. We're definitely looking for a high achieving student that's usually 3.5 and above, a high need student, and so a family income at about 60,000 and below. And then again, just those personality traits that we think make them a real transformer. So we're trying to invest. If parents are watching this right now and thinking, okay, maybe my student, my, you know, my son or daughter could apply for this, uh, take us through what happens in the sense of if they do get this scholarship, just the test prep, exposure to schools. You guys do so much for these students that receive this award. Absolutely. So we're a five year commitment. The first year is all things college access. And so we're helping them with their target college list. We're helping them and their families with their FAFSA. We take college tours. We do what we call Horizon events where they get to meet with local businesses and ha- get exposed to their possible career choices. Um, And all of that allows them to actually apply for school. Once they hit submit, get some acceptances, they decide where they wanna go, and then we go with them to college. That's four years of service. And so every month, their four years of school, there's a team member that checks in and says, how are things going? Mm -hmm. We help them navigate their college experience. There's some financial support that we offer. And so it it really is a village that supports the student through their college journey. And Amina, it takes $25,000, as we said, for this five-year commitment. And you guys are always looking for community partners. Yes. Why would you tell folks to get involved and to help someone that's truly a community champion? Because change happens in our future leaders. Like when we can help them go to the best colleges in the nation, actually graduate and then earn a profession, especially back here in Orlando, that is how you build the economy. That is how you invest not into just that student's life, but then their family's life. It allows you to pour back into our community and then kind of change the world at large. Awesome. Amina, thank you so much for coming on today and filling us in just more about Elevation Scholars and congratulations for being a community champion organization. Thank you, it is an honor, I'm so excited. (laughs) Well, good stuff, we're excited to have you. So, do you know someone with a history of doing good in Central Florida? West 2 wants to know about them. Nominate those with a track record of giving back for a West 2 Community Champion Spotlight. You can email some details about your nominee to communitychampion at west.com. They could be featured right here on West 2 on Thursdays.